Yesterday afternoon, Ford showed us more details of its Gonzo GT350 Mustang and the Uber Track version, the GT350R. Ford claims it will be the best handling Mustang of all time, born and bred on a racetrack. To put it simply, they made it lighter, stronger, and more aerodynamic. The grille opening reinforcement was redesigned to lower the leading edge of the hood so the car punches through the air easier, and it's made of carbon fiber to reduce weight. Speaking of aero, the underbody of the car is flat as a pancake, with belly pans under the engine compartment and running from the diff to the rear bumper. This is the first Ford to ever use MagnaRide shocks, which respond to road inputs in 7 milliseconds. That allows the car to corner hard, yet deliver a comfortable ride. The suspension components are all new, all lightweight, and completely change the suspension geometry. The Mustang team wanted better feedback and greater grip, and they went into great detail to get it. The lower arms are cast slightly different on each side of the car, because the coil springs are counterwound. That is, they spiral in opposite directions depending on which side of the car they go on. Put it all together, and the springs don't bind up in hard cornering. The brakes are a masterpiece to behold. The massive two-piece rotor surfaces attach to the hub via an arrangement of pins. This allows the rotor surface to expand when they get hot, and the gap between the rotor and the hub helps keep it cool. Six piston calipers right up front, four pistons are in the rear. Even though it says Brembo on the brakes, Ford insists it developed all the specifications in-house. To partially offset the weight of the brakes, the R version comes standard with carbon fiber wheels, which saves 50 pounds per car. Interestingly, the insides of the wheels are lined with a ceramic coating, which protects the wheels from the massive amount of heat thrown off from the brakes. Ford claims this is the first OEM production car with carbon fiber wheels. Oh, and by the way, they're 11 inches wide in the front and 11 and a half at the rear. And those wheels are wrapped in giant Michelin Pilot Super Sport and Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Ford promises we'll get a chance to test drive the car later this year, but for now, they're just spoon-feeding us enticing details.